up, everybody? My name is Tim Rosswick, and today uh, what we're going to talk about is my project that is coming to life in a different light. That's right, uh, Sanctum, my Discord text-based RPG MMO project uh, is is common open source. We're turning it into a community project. Uh, the reasoning behind this is I simply don't have the time to make it happen. I just... I have too many other priorities with the streaming and the YouTube and the community and all that stuff and, and phytophobia and getting the game done before February. I just don't have time to work on it. And everybody has constantly been asking uh, for the game to to be uh, available and, and get done. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the game. Uh, I just I don't have the time for it. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm bringing it open source. And essentially, if you don't know how the game works, uh, it takes place on Discord. And it is a text-based MMO. So uh, the way that it works is is similar to uh, I've been told it's similar to old muds back in the day when people used to play. Uh, but it's basically a text-based MMO that takes place on a Discord server. And there's lots of different locations. Uh, you can join a faction and um, do some cool stuff in there. It's it's currently in a mode of stasis, which means nobody can actually get in. Uh, but there are a series of different bots and stuff that do different things. There are vendors. There are all kinds of stuff. Uh, so it's, it's very much text-based MMO type of thing. And we need uh, your help to to make this into a community project. So the people that we're looking for are as follows. We're looking for PHP developers uh, for the server-side code. So all this stuff uh, works with Discord bots, but then it sends data to a server. Uh, I'm not necessarily tied to PHP. The reason I built it in PHP in the first place was because that's what I knew. So I just used that and MySQL as well. Uh, but if you know different server-side language and you want to possibly help us rewrite the server stuff, feel free to, to um, let me know anyway. We also need Discord.js developers. Uh, you have to know Node and Discord.js because uh, we're building a bot on Node and Discord.js. Uh, if you have Discord bot experience, that's fantastic. If you don't, Maybe practice and build a bot, and then uh, then then come try and join us. Uh, we need writers, dialogue and lore writers uh, specifically. This is one of the bigger things that we need because we need a lot of people to help with the lore writing and the world building and um, the dialogue as well for individual characters. All of the bots have their own uh, things that they say, and we need somebody to go through all of the stuff and really like fictionalize the stuff and make it make it from the specific characters. We need artists. Uh, one of the cool things about Discord embeds is it allows us to embed pictures. And there's a there's a raid feature that allows people to go into dungeons and navigate text-based way. So we, we, we need artists that can uh, draw landscapes or lore type of stuff. So um, for the, the, the profile images of some of the characters or uh, landscapes for some of the rooms. Like for example, if you enter a room with a chest, we would need like a picture of a chest in a in a room or something like that. Uh, we need designers, specifically people that uh, know something about economies or UX design. Uh, we're trying to balance an MMO type of economy with crystals and currencies and and um, all that kind of stuff, and balance it against you know other players. There are multiplayer's in this. We need a producer, so we need someone to look over all this stuff and kind of decide who does what and where it goes and how it all works. And kind of be the person that, you know, can kind of make sure everybody gets what they're supposed to get done. And then we also need testers. So if you want to be a tester, um, it's really, really simple. You just have to test the basic version of the game and we'll allow you into a mock uh, Discord. So if any of those sound like you and you want to join this community project, uh, I would be super grateful. Um, the way that it's going to work is... I'm going to give a specific uh, Discord link down in the description below. When you join that Discord, you'll go into a general channel and uh, you can communicate about uh, what you, what role you're looking to, to, to join. Um, not everybody is going to be allowed in. This is a community project, but it's not 100% open because we do need to make sure that the quality bar is there. But don't let that discourage you from trying to join and trying to help. Um, we're open to a lot of different people's help. And even if you don't have a ton of experience, uh, if you can do quality work and you're down to help out, uh, we would love to have you. Um, we still have a bunch of stuff to do, but essentially after we get all this up and running, 
we're going to have one meeting every week, probably in the middle of the week, something like that, where we all sit down and we go over all the stuff on a Trello board, everything we need to get done for the next week. And then we, uh, we make sure that it all gets done. And then we meet next week to kind of make sure everything's working. So I'm, I'm really envisioning this more like a group project rather than an open source type of project where everybody's kind of doing their own thing. And I, I, I totally plan on, on helping as much as I can, but I can't promise really anything um, at all from, from my, from my aspect, other than like, you know, overseeing it a little bit and making sure it grows into something awesome. So if that sounds like something you want to help with, I would really appreciate it. The link to join uh, the dev discord is down below. So join that and uh, any, any roles that you want to uh, potentially uh, join, we can talk about it there and we can sort out any different uh, type of thing from there. But that's all I got for you today. I would love to have your help in a community project like this. I think something like this has never been done on this scale and I would love to be the first to kind of build a community project, a community game uh, that we can all love and play. And um, I think it'd be really, really interesting. So if you like this video, hit me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, click the link and uh, help me out and help uh, help us make an amazing Discord MMORPG game. I will see you again on Monday.